I'm tiny. You are. And I'm pretty sure I can just I grab you by your my, leg I'm, and like, I'm like your a neck Beyblade. and just go. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a Beyblade, you just spin and smack people? Spin? No, I'm In like a world oh, devoid of life, <laughs> five people must stand alone against the forces of darkness. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Go on. I don't have to stop. I mean... <laughs> Oh, Angie's doing some stuff. Oh, I, can just, I can just imagine Shimmy's just leaning back in her chair listening to that. She's like, please, just go on. Just, go on. Mm. <laughs> and maybe just give Angie a second there. She's in the middle of something, it seems. Uh, no, I want to give her two seconds. I'm going to yeah. be generous. Is yeah. she getting her headphones or am I seeing things? Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first session of the Redemption of Alora campaign. We have some wonderful, wonderful players here today. Uh, as you can see right next to me, we have Solid <laughs> right there, oh. gi giving us with a you know a, a one right off the bat. Right next to him is Kearney. Say hello, I'm Kearney. Out of the way. Hello. Kearney's wearing a Pikachu hat because obviously. Because Pikachu. Because yeah. Pikachu. And then right next to him we have Drillion. Hello. Finally with his camera working, which is going to yeah, be fantastic. Yes. And then right next to that, we have the wonderful and lovely, talented artist, Shimmy Dance. You can't see me because it's dark out. No, no, that's her face right there. That's her face. No, that's actually that her face. face. She's just always oh, frozen like this. She this is, is like, very the dark everywhere here. The bartender grandma is outside in the dark. Yeah, yes. it's, it's just dark. Sorry. Exactly. Night. Can't help it. It's a nighttime. And then after that is Angie, last but not least. Hi. Gee, thanks. Especially after drinking. the introduction of the artist Shimmy, because it's not like I'm an artist either. The artist not like she drew her own profile picture. The artist formerly known as a Shimmy Prince. Dance. Yeah, <laughs> that's Prince. But yeah, fantastic. The artist, the artist formerly known, known, as, known as, formerly as 4chan. As 4chan, <laughs> the hacker known as 4chan. The entirety of 4chan. All right. One hacker. One hacker. <laughs> One man. <Against> the world. <laughs> All right, before we get started on introducing your characters, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick uh, roll of the introduction, and uh, we'll be right back. And we're back. All right. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! It's crazy. All right. Wow, that was a great intro. intro. Uh, that was the best intro I've ever seen. All right. So Damn. let's go ahead and introduce our players to the world of Alora. So I, I I've already read this to them, but I'm gonna read it for your benefit as well. All right. Everybody ready to get into the world of Alora? Oh, my body is ready. I want to get oh, into ready. everything. You want to get into in. everything. All right. Alora, a land once brimming with life, prosperity, adventure, lived in relative peace for a thousand generations. However, whispers rose of a coming darkness from the east, tall tales of a shadow that carries with it abominations, dragons, and in other indescribable horrors. These whispers turned into rumor, and from rumors to reality, as hundreds of refugees have been coming in daily, as an insurmountable evil force has pushed west, conquering the other five kingdoms, and pushing them to this last bastion of man, a southern coastal city called Costa del Sol. As clouds have begun to darken overhead for the past week, the city is overrun with refugees, and no one has tried to leave yet, as the five kingdoms have established a final defense, a final stand against this evil force. A day's ride from the city is a canyon called Devil's Run, 
that Elf, Dwarf, and Man alike have been preparing for a final stand. If they fail, civilization's only hope is a land to the west, where only one exploratory mission has reached so far. A land still untamed, untouched, and unclaimed. For the past week, these ships have been bustle of activity as they load seeds, tools, materials, and food. You awake this morning to the sounds of horns, the alarm, as you see the streets filled with people rushing towards the boats. Our story starts on the edge of the last pier, just as the sky darkens, not from dark magic, but from the wings of creatures once forgotten. The ships are being packed full of refugees, a sea of chaos as mothers cling to their children, fathers to their sons. At the edge of the pier is when you realize you only have three options. One, hide and hope you won't be noticed and may flee beyond the wall of darkness into the wild. Two, stand and fight. Well, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Or three, flee with the others on the closest ship labeled The Last Dawn. And that is your introduction to the world of Alora and where we will start our campaign for today. I like it, Angie. <laughs> got your, got your nice little robe on, ceremonial oh, robe. Oh, just wait! I went to the mall today and I found this. Uh, mana. mana. Nice. Oh my god! You want some mana? <laughs> you want some mana? Got key sword. <laughs> got really? A key blade. Really? Nice. The key blade. I got a hat, <laughs> and I got Chewy. I got some. Oh, I should have gotten my crossbow out of my car. I'm wearing the crossbow. best outfit ever. I'm cosplaying as as my character right now. You can see. I yeah, have oh, everything yeah, obviously. on. <laughs> it's just really dark out. Yeah, so it's, it's hard to really see. dark. It's sorry, you guys. I have a nail clipper, <laughs> so if I ever go to an airport, <laughs> yeah, I can take out the entire plane. <laughs> wow, just with that. Just, just with this. With that. All right. This so we'll go ahead and introduce your characters. Uh, in the order that I introduced you, so we'll start off with Solid. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> Hi. I should take these off. Uh, I should. <laughs> so, what was I gonna say? So, I'm introducing my character here. Yes. Who are you playing right. today for us? I am playing Gaston, who is a human fighter uh, that carries a big ass sword around. Uh, doesn't fuck around, doesn't talk a whole lot, not here to make friends, he's just there to fucking bang and just smash and just right. be awesome. Bang and, and bang smash. Bang girls 80 also. I can get down with that. Alright, <laughs> alright. Awesome, anything else? <laughs> not too much. All right. The guy has a fucked up past, but it's okay, because he doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't give a fuck. Alright, what's your highest and lowest score? Ooh. Uh, my highest score is a tie between three of my scores. Dear God. Uh, <laughs> it's, I have 16 strength, 16 dexterity, 16 constitution. And my <laughs> lowest score is 10, and I have 10 intelligence and 10 charisma. Something tells me should be rolled a lot higher than that. Awesome. <laughs> All right, next up we'll have Kearney introduce his character that he's playing for today. Okay. I am playing... Celia Nightrose, a female human ranger, uh, who is a, a bounty hunter from the Outlander. Uh, well, I am an Outlander bounty hunter, so I I don't talk a lot. That's why I uh, silent but deadly. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Like a thought. You like say that a fart. Like a fart. Yes. <laughs> Celia, Celia is the epitome of farts when it comes to <laughs> rangers. She is silent but incredibly deadly. Curdy's <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're not wrong, but. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I can go with that. Fine. Any, any yeah. uh, highest and lowest score? Let's see. I have. Lowest is my. I have two lowest. It's uh, charisma and uh, intelligence with nine both. Man, and you my just highest... uncharismatic, dumb <laughs> truckers. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and my highest is my dexterity with seventeen. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Next up, Sir Drillian. Who are you playing today? 
I am playing the cleric known as Enoch. He is from the first kingdom to encounter the darkness uh, that they know of uh, in the lands of Lavasarin. Uh, he was trained by the clerics of Lumirin and has been fighting the oncoming darkness for the past 10 years. Okay. Nice. Next up, we have a shimmy dance. <laughs> Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Yeah. What, I don't get to do my stats? My character oh, yeah. is I'm named sorry. Martha. She's an old lady. She owns her own bar and tavern and has owned it for the past 70 years. She's pretty good at keeping the regulars in line. She loves them like her grandchildren. They are just so cute. Have you seen a photo of them? They're just delightful. This one. They grow up so fast. He's a graduate at Harvard d and University. I tell you what. Uh, and she's a human fighter. D &D awesome. Highest awesome. lowest stat. Highest lowest stat for Martha. Martha's highest stat is strength with 19 points and her lowest is intelligence with 11. Wow. <laughs> yes. She did, in fact, roll a perfect 18, and then she took a feat, ladies and gentlemen. Dear God. We have Martha, an old woman with the strength of 50 men Hold wrapped on. inside this tiny body. She rolled an 18. Yes. And she rolled she... three sixes. Three sixes. Yeah, yes. I'm not even kidding. Wow. Yes. You can see it in the chat archive. No, I believe it. And it's just, wow. what's yeah. even greater is then she took a feat that increased her strength even more. Make All right, and what's her uh, lowest stat? Oh, yeah. Intelligence with 11. Oh, so she's still bad. smarter than everybody else in the party so <laughs> <Jeez>. far. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Enoch, what was your highest and lowest stat? My highest stat is wisdom at 16 and dexterity at 9. Okay, and what's your lowest stat? 9, oh, dexterity. Nine, 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 nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fantastic. My intelligence is 10 and charisma is 11, though. It's okay. You're 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 average, average. I'm at least somewhat oh, charming. When they act smart, not cute little kids. And last but definitely not least is Guard Girl. What are you playing today? Who are you playing today? I I am playing an elf ranger named Nita from far into the forests. Her village was very ignorant to the darkness that was spreading. And in their ignorance, while she was out hunting for her tribe, they all were eaten by demons. Oh boy, that she sounds great. Slaughtered, they sl she slaughtered them all in anger and hatred, and but was too late to save them. So she vowed to kill all the demons and stop the darkness from spreading. But right. her problem is with going out and trying to stop everything and possibly joining a team is the fact that she doesn't speak English. She doesn't oh. speak common. So doesn't speak common. She needs it doesn't speak common. So she needs to learn all this. That's okay. The language of love transcends all. <laughs> I knew Martha would be my favorite little old lady harboring the incredible Hulk. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lucid burrito, awesome name. I love it. I love it. All right. And with that, any last minute things you want to say before we get right into role playing? I love the young people. Martha, can you make me cookies? <laughs> oh, sure, honey. As long as it's got baking drippings in it. You gotta grow big and strong and bring up those stats. That's so true. Big and strong like so Grandma Martha. Oh, yeah, but did you want to hear my uh, highest and lowest stats? Oh, yes, I put crack cocaine in my cookies. Highest, stat, uh, highest stat is de dexterity in 17, <laughs> and my lowest stat is charisma at 11. All right. <laughs> Just even higher. Uh, what was I going to say? So, Shimmy, you have your strength at 19. Yes. And your lowest is 11. Yes. What are your other stats? Like, what Are you, like, super balanced? My constitution or are you, like... is 18. My dexterity okay. is 15. Okay. Cedra, it goes on. <laughs> Uh, what about wisdom and intelligence? Wisdom is doubt? thirteen. Charisma is twelve. You had some retarded roles. She had. Wait, some what was your roles. intelligence and wisdom? <laughs> huh? What's that? What was your intelligence and wisdom? Intelligence was eleven, and wisdom was thirteen. We 
right before you were saying that she's the smarter than anybody else. I've got a 12 intelligence and 16 wisdom. Damn. A smarter as in just intelligence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he also said so far. That was so before far, we saw yes. your character. That is true. I feel All really right. inadequate right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> am I honey? All right, let's get you. Says, 72 years running this bar. It gets strong and buff as fuck. So it's no big deal. I'm sure you'll be nice and big and strong one day. <laughs> I just so imagine a little barrels. grandma with like four arms like Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just imagine she doesn't look like she has all that strength. She's like Master Roshi. Oh yeah, yeah that's what I said. Frail, and then all of a sudden I just she gets want her like behind a bar, <clears throat> like just curling, just the entire time. <laughs> Just curling what is she she's doing with the kegs? Yeah, she's never stopped curling. curling. Kegs, like, just like, I can't deliver all of my kegs of beer to my bar from the distillery. Yep. Alright, so, on the right-hand side is where we will start. If you scroll all the way to the right, store. top right, you should see Whoa. your character. Top right. Inside Whoa. a square uh, a market with a whole bunch of bloody footprints on it. This is beautiful. You're welcome. I did not make this, so I don't <laughs> deserve <laughs> any credit. Uh-huh. I don't know. I've seen your envelope villages. They're pretty good. <laughs> well, maybe if someone answered his fucking commission. Ah! three score from the Constitution. <laughs> I don't think Random heard what I said. <laughs> I, I'm just anger right now. Because <laughs> uh, I said, well, maybe if someone answered ah! his fucking commissions, he'd have some nice villages. <laughs> this shade is so real oh. right now. <laughs> wow, is ev everyone's just so... Just, just let's... Okay, let's... you know the sound from Metal Gear Solid when you spot an enemy and it goes BING? Yes. Oh, yeah. wait, text me right now and I can play it. <laughs> Somebody text right, Solid. Solid. Skype me your number. No, Hold no. up. Nah, I could just play it. Hold up. This could be good. It's totally worth it. This is not at all a waste of time. At all. Is it waiting? Notifications. Where uh, is it? There you go. Hello. There you go. Ah, oh, there you go. Someone just texted me as well. <laughs> My people need me. There you go. Away! <laughs> nice smiley face. Yeah. So much salt. All right. So, we will start off uh, in the middle of the um, the siege of the city of Costa del Sol. Like the introduction said, we have tons of dragons torturing, screams, fire everywhere as you hear the dragons in the background. No, it's in fact a dragon. Okay. I turned it way down because it's oh. very loud. <laughs> I feel like there's a hint of TIE Fighter in there. A little bit, yes. Dragon's actually just an right. A10, like. Just... So, <laughs> as oh, you guys are coming into consciousness in this square, people have been running past you. Um, you see off to the left here, or off to the west here, a dragon come, probably wingspan of about 120 feet. It's something of legend. It's a dragon of legend. Red dragon, two-headed red dragon, comes flying down and just lays waste to all these ships, just spreading fire upon the water and the ships. <sighs> all right. So, Martha, you awake as normal behind your bar up in the north. You see some uh, outside your windows. You do see people just running past. You're just, it's a sea of chaos right now. So, and it is as this point that we need everybody to roll our first initiative of the campaign. Wow. Damn, that's early on. Mm hmm. Let's get shit going. Uh oh, wait, I have to click on my character. Put up Gaston. Oh! Of course it is. Is All it right. high or low? Oh, what do you mean enough. high or low? <laughs> Turn order, high or low. Uh, it's the still... highest goes first. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yep. So yeah. make sure to select your characters inside the... Yeah, click on it. Gotta click on floor. it and then roll initiative. Oh, wait. Four, eight, 14, 9. Hold on. We're waiting for one person. 
Yes, Sorry, I forgot too. how to Nita do Nita is very neato. <laughs> we'll make that joke so many times. It's gonna be great. Fifteen. Hey. I forgot how to do this. It's been a while. Oh, it's all right. We're <laughs> all we're all finding our, our feet again. All right. <laughs> our feet. Gotta get the right. legs. Nita, you were the first to act. As you see, around the corner from you are two large, just probably a good five feet high looking you would call them dogs um but they have a whole bunch of magma coming out of its mouth its Yummy. eyes are blazing red with tiny tiny black pupils almost as if tiny um pebbles were placed in its eye for uh pupils and it's just staring at you its paws over crossing over on itself as it's walking up around the market stall what do you do I'm going to shoot at it with one of my bows, okay. or one of my arrows. I'm going to turn down the, the screams. Alright, go ahead and roll your weapon attack. Where is that again? <laughs> and so go to your weapons inside your character sheet. Okay. And then roll an attack, whatever you would like. Okay. Eh. Uh, My computer's uh, uh, okay. Ball. Ball. <laughs> All right, twenty-one to hit. Let's see, you do indeed hit four. Go ahead and roll your damage, which was six piercing damage. Awesome. All right, so so far you've done six damage to it as you release your arrow. Um. The other three, you notice immediately this elf just takes out a bow just from out of nowhere. You don't even know where she had it, like cartoon style. Release it, <laughs> knock an arrow, release Pull it. Pull that out of my ass. <laughs> out of your ass. And lands squarely in the chest region of this hound. It lets out a... Sorry, can you do that again? <laughs> 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 sure, go for it. That way he doesn't have to do it anymore. We'll that, just is, play the sound bite. that is how a hellhound roars, in my opinion. Because um, it has a whole bunch of like, a magma and fire coming out of its mouth. Behind you, Nita, you see um, up to the north here, you see a whole bunch of city guard and uh, tradesmen right now kind of forming a phalanx against a whole bunch of goblins, orcs, and you see behind bounding towards it, coming out of the mist, is a giant, uh, giant, you would say, um, holding, a giant like, giant! Wow! <laughs> a giant wow. giant! Fucking crazy! <laughs> holding basically a tree in his hand and just knocking away like debris coming up towards you guys. Alright, and that's to the uh, your north right there. Alright, so that's the end of your turn. Gaston! Gaston! <clears throat> Alright, uh... Hmm... Okay, so that's El Hellhound. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. So I can move 30, and I can move through, like, I can step over here, right? Yeah, you can move through people. One, two, three. Well, unless Nita doesn't want you to move through her. Too bad. Move <laughs> through her. Um, <laughs> so after I'm you release your arrow, just this bounding yoke has an awesome chin and <laughs> some, like, puffed up hair. <laughs> I like Gaston Gaston. Does he start singing? A song about himself? I don't know, do you? <laughs> He's quietly yeah. humming it the whole time. No. He's thinking about it. His background music is I, I imagine just like... <laughs> I would more imagine like... Uh, well, anyways, what I'm, I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> try to attack big old big guy. Go for it. Roll your great, great sword, sword attack. So let me pull that Pulling out. Pulling out your great sword. Shing! It's finding some glimmer in the light as you pull it out. Ow. And you're ready for your attack. Is that what they call it? Yes. As you uh, take out your blade, you know, flexing your muscles a little bit, and then you go in for a strike, it sees your attack, and it dodges out of the way. All right. Do you want to do anything else? Uh, Remember, you have bonus actions, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, is, like, a check of some sort of bonus action? Uh, usually checks are free. What are you trying to check? I want to, like, just kind of check... Uh, cause we just woke up here, right? 
Uh, I'm saying like you as your character woke up um, to the chaos, and now you've all found your way to the market. Right. And so you're you as players are coming into the consciousness of the characters in the market. Right. So our characters just woke up and they're like, shit, 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 yes. shit, shit. Yep. And they're just kind of getting Down ready for stuff. Down to the bottom left of your map is where you'll see the, la the last dawn. Right. Uh, so... It has a whole bunch of character models with names on them. All right. Down there, yes. And that is, uh, like I said, your goal for right now. Okay. Um, no, I think that's just... I'm going to finish my turn and that'll be it. Okay. So, Martha... You are, once again, coming to consciousness inside your tavern. It's weird. No one has come to your tavern this morning, not even the day drinkers. Where are my regulars? Oh, my children, I hope they're okay. Maybe I should go look for them. Go for it. Oh, oh, Martha's going to get up, uh, go out to the bar, maybe look at the window. Is, am I allowed to travel that far while still having initiative? Uh, yeah. Okay, look out so the window. So go ahead and roll what? a perception check. All right. Do, 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 do. Yep. Right. What do I see? What do you see? You see something out of legend. Something that no one has seen for many, many generations. You see a scaly looking creature. Um, it has a whole bunch of like tentacle things on the outside of it. Um, and at the end of them, they have like something round. But then as it move, the movement of the tentacles they look weird. All of a sudden you see three, four, six, seven eyes upon you as this creature then turns towards you. Giant eye in the center. Gaping mouth, just drooling ooze and other saliva. As you and see a giant beholder floating out of the mist. That's a bad thing. Oh, played enough, I ne played enough Baldur's Gate to know that's a bad thing. <laughs> I played enough Magicka to know that's a bad thing. That's not my... my grandchild. That's not my regular... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. So you have uh, ten feet of movement left. Oh, God. Okay. So ten feet, Shimmy, that's two squares. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, we're just gonna go here for now. All right. Gonna take a <laughs> she stumbled back from the window. Just... <laughs> 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 All right, Enoch. If I say right. your names improperly, just please berate me, and I will say it correctly. E That's why I chose an easier one this time. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I picked um, a regular one. All right, Enoch. I need you to make a perception roll. All right. Let me get up to it. Perception. There it is. Uh, perception. You do indeed see uh, what tentacles kind of peeking around the corner of this building behind you. You haven't seen the main eye yet, but um, go ahead and roll me a history check. <laughs> oh no, it's his intelligence. We're fucked. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> just based off of the tentacles coming around the corner with eye stalks, um, you do indeed, uh, with your cleric training, know that this is something of legend, something of horrors, something of nightmares of kings and queens alike. It is a beholder. It's a hentai video. <laughs> you had to. You had to go there, solid. You had he to go there. From his the joke was there. I had to do it. Okay, I, I have to get it out now. All right, you know. <laughs> Uh, first things first, I want to relay the new coming danger to the rest of the party standing around me. Okay. Yelling, uh, guys, tentacles, tentacles! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then I... This music. <laughs> Alright. You'll have to refresh me on what I am and am not able to do. Can I move to, say, here and then use a cantrip? Uh, cantrip is, uh, what's the casting time? Uh, it is one action. One action, yep. So you have a, one, an action, a bonus action, and movement. Okay. 
All right, well then I'm going to move where I did and um, cast Sacred Flame on the Hellhound. Awesome, go ahead and roll your Sacred Flame attack. <laughs> Unfortunately, it sees your mo your movement and ducks out of the way of your of your little Sacred Flame fireball right there. All right, anything else? Do you want to move? Um. I'm going to get to about here. All right, so on the run, kind of sacred flaming. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, fuck you guys. <laughs> All right. Like, ah. Celia. All right, let me see. Got Hellhound down there. Mm -hmm. Something up there. So... But we got, I got two people behind, in front of the, me between the Hellhound, so... Uh, let's see, I'll move up here, okay. and then I'll try to shoot the uh, tentacle, whatever thing it was, okay, with go my for bow. It. Uh, it's, he has kind of three quarter, uh, half cover right now, so you'll have disadvantage on the attack. Can I move a little further then? Sure, know, it's just the fact it, that, that there's a building the and a fruit stall right in front of you. What if I move to here? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So doing, a, doing a backflip landing, three point style, yeah, sure, taking out your bow. Sure. And then Go for take it. Out my bow and do one that. Roll for flips. Shit. 1d4, roll for flips. Oh, After right. the long uh, board. Unfortunately, uh, with your long bow uh, attack, you do not hit. It, the arrow shoots um, and lands square in its target, um, <laughs> right on the cheek. You only do one flip. Uh, <laughs> lands right on the cheek of the beholder, but it just laughs. <laughs> <laughs> Not even doing any damage to it. Right, that's good. And then, very good. That's, that was my plan all along. <laughs> okay, and just leave, whoop, move back again. That's not good. Okay. In my turn. <laughs> all right, Nita. Um, can I climb on top of one of the fruit stands? Of oh, so yeah. I can get a better view. Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, me a, uh, a act, giant, uh, athletics giant check. Okay, hold on. One step ahead of the deadline. Uh, athletic check. <laughs> and uh, players, I would like to remind you that there is a third option of fleeing, but if you don't want to take it, that is your choice. <laughs> he knocks way ahead. I can take a hint. <laughs> well, Only the strongest <laughs> will survive. Okay. Just. Holy shit, Ed, what the fuck just, are you packing? You take one hand, grab the top of the stall. I literally always do crits. It's it's like um what Sora used to do when he grabs a, a cliff, just hangs on with one hand and just lifts his whole entire body weight up with it, including <laughs> the keyblade, obviously. Of course. <laughs> yep. So you lift up, you're on top of there. You see to your right the beholder, making its way floating towards you, just laughing. The giant. The beholder to your right. Oh. Something, the... Yeah. The tentacle thingy. Mm-hmm. Alright. Just fucking rip shit off. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mate, eh, eh, am I able to make a, an attack onto it? Yeah, you can. You can do anything. You can try anything. Anything you can Just do. Making sure I still have that available. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw my spear at it. Go for it. Once again, cartoon like pulls a spear out of her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the versatile one? Uh, What's the, the versatile one? is with two hands. If you're making a ranged attack, you're okay, going to be throwing mind. it. Or you're throwing it, you're going to be ranged attack. Alright, 21 oh, does land. Way. It just finds its mark on uh, the other cheek. Now it has two little, like, protrusions out of it, coming out of its face. <laughs> well, it, once again, it just laughs at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it still my turn? Uh, you can still move. I believe you have oh. fi uh, five, 15, you have about 10 feet of movement left. I'll end my turn. Okay, you're in your turn on top of there. Gaston. Yes. I'm gonna track the hellhound again. You gonna <laughs> taunt the hell hellhound? I'm gonna twack it. Alright, twack it. Twerk, twerk, <laughs> twerk, twerk, twerk. No. Alright. <laughs> Uh, so do an attack. Here we go. 
Once again, you were battling with this hellhound, but not finding its mark. Alright. Uh, nope. I'm gonna move, like, around it. Like, still not out of its, uh, like, field of vision or anything. I want so to... you're just kind of circling it? It kind of circles with you as yeah. you're as you're moving along? Yeah. I'm not, like, you know, being like, yeah! I'm just kind of, like, circling about. Alright. So I'm gonna move to about here. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see here. We got Gaston. Martha, it is your turn. Alright, how many squares can I move? You can move up to six squares, but right, if you turn. dash, meaning you can't mm -hmm. attack or anything, you can move 12 squares. Oh, okay. Well, Martha is gonna <laughs> hike up her, uh, her apron a little bit and mm -hmm. fucking one, two, three, four, five, six... And then she'll turn around and, and switch the, the, the store sign from open to close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm kind of lo like lovingly. Mm -hmm. And Bonus then uh, peek used. out the door. As, Martha, as you do this, you feel like this is the last time you're ever going to switch that sign. <laughs> Remember, it is hanging by a nail, so if you wanted to, you could take it. Hang it around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> We're closed! <laughs> <laughs> open for business! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she reaches under underneath the mat and takes out the key that she leaves there and keeps it. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and put that in your inventory. <laughs> key right. from your tavern. <laughs> All right. All of a sudden, the fucking dragon drops a boulder on the bar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, he's gone. <laughs> so she sees. She see. She knows that this crazy ass monster is here. Does she know that? The, that need is up there on the fucking... Yeah, you see that imme immediately. Alright. And you see the spear sticking out of it. Uh, is this not bothering you? <laughs> she says to Nita, shaking a little bit in her old age. <laughs> uh, I don't know if she can't Angie? get that part of attack, so she's gonna be here. She doesn't understand the common language. Oh, oh, that's okay. Would you like a cookie? <laughs> no response. <laughs> I just, Nina just looks at her with utter confusion and looks back at the tentacle monster like, Hello! <laughs> In Elvin, of course. In Elvin. Alright. In Elvin. <laughs> My king! <laughs> Can Martha pull out her cane sword? Of course, yeah. Okay, and then I'd like oh. to be ready the cane sword, please. Alright, you have the cane sword, you also have all your armor and stuff on. Sweet. It's all packed away in your in your backpack. Right. Martha's an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the you, young remember, people. Remember, you, you can move, you move six squares, you can move another six squares if you'd like. I don't know if I want to get closer. <laughs> Quite yet. Well, you wouldn't be able to attack this turn if you move another six squares. Yeah. Well, you I see to your right, you see the captain of the guard, um... Mm -hmm. Got uh, Freddy. You call him mm -hmm. Freddy, but his real name is uh, Fred. Fred Von. But his real name is Tom. <laughs> his real name is Roger. <laughs> he has a very long and complicated name that you just Fancy couldn't be bothered to. Name. All right, I think that might be. He says, <laughs> he says to you, Martha, get to the ships, run, save yourself. I do love running. I run <laughs> twenty miles every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 100 push-ups a day, 100 sit-ups a day. <laughs> Never a turn uh, on your AC. It's actually uh, pretty average, really. I think she's gonna step here and sort of like gesture towards Nina, like go, go, like sort of that, like uh, okay. waving, waving her arms out, and that's she's gonna go! stand there ready with the cane sword. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be my turn. Hello, that way. Okay. All right, and off. Um. Is there anything else around me or further down the docks where I'm kind of heading? Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. By the way, random, I don't know if we're supposed to see this here. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> uh, perception. You don't see anything down. Okay. It looks, uh, it looks clear right now. It's the only option for, for escape. Okay. Um, I'm going to yell at everyone at the top of my lungs to fall back away from the monsters. Okay. Performance check. <laughs> Performance check. No, no, no. Get just, that just, gravel work. What are you going to say? 
Uh, get to the I ship. I don't know what we're up against. Get away from them. Run. Get to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get to the ship. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Are you going to do anything? Um. Where's our ship? If I Your can ship... hop over. Bottom left. Bottom if, left. If I... If I can hop through this stall and, um... Oh, I see it. And then I want to all the apples. <laughs> and then cast... <laughs> all the apples. And then cast Sacred Flame at the Hellhound while... Alright, go ahead and yellow. roll me an athletics check, or an acrobatics check, to get through the stall. Oh, great. Watch it fail. Acrobatics. Uh, it wasn't the prettiest. You tried, like, doing the whole tuck and roll. But you, you kind of, like, you don't land quite right. Uh, but you, you're okay. You're okay. It wasn't as cool as you would like. And so you as you're, you come back around, you land, you're, you get out and cast your Sacred Flame however you would like. I'm going to land on the ground and kind of, like, catch myself and be like, Sacred Flame! <laughs> <laughs> Four. Little little stumble. 13. Let's see. Does it make its DC save? It does. No damage to it. Still yelling at everyone. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Celia. Hey. Hi. What what kind of a monster is uh, the uh, hellhound? Is it a beast? Uh, go ahead and roll a. Uh, uh okay. this will be. Investigation. Uh, nature check. Bye. Make ooh. Yeah, to see if it's anything in nature that you've encountered. It is not um, a beast. Oh, damn so it. he knows. Okay. Definitely not. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's not of uh, this. It's not of nature. Okay. Right. By the way, what? viewers, if you want to get a lovely cup just like this, you can go to Think Geek. Get an awesome D twenty mug for all your coffee needs. I'm pretty sure that's, that's supposed to be not sponsored. Not, not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag sponsor me. Think that think looks like a that. sugar bowl. It, but it's, <laughs> it does it's, look like a sugar it's bowl. It's really you good. You know what I want to sponsor me? I want this is why I broke dot com to sponsor me. Okay, there you go. Sorry, <laughs> Celia. That's a good sponsor. Let's just go on and try to fucking shoot that mofo of a beast. Go for not, it. Not a beast. <gasps> Twelve. Okay. Does not hit. It like sinks into the side of its flesh, but then all of a sudden the arrow catches a flame. <laughs> Seemingly no damage. Right. All right. Next up is the beholder's turn. Oh lord! So I'm it, away from that thing. It floats slowly out of the mist. Just a whole <laughs> bunch of ooze coming out. Uh, for those Yummy. of you who don't know what a beholder looks like, let me let me show show you. It almost looks like a brain beast. Almost, for but a little. Imagine a Medusa, but only with like an, a giant eyeball and a big mouth. It's like a testicle <laughs> Medusa, you really. With an I eyeball. almost thought you said a vagina eyeball. But pretty much. There you what go. It That's is. what Whoa. a beholder looks like. Hello. Oh, he's yes. beautiful. It's wonderful. Can I have one as a pet? Can I date it? No. All right, fuck it. So it moves forward, uh, and then looks down this way towards Gaston. But then one of the eye stalk looks over at you, Martha, and will have you make a constitution save as a black beam comes shooting out of the eyeball towards you. Constitution save? Yep. Right. You made it, Ink. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. I don't like that sound. Are you ready? <laughs> Is she dead? <laughs> <laughs> Rip. <clears throat> oh, no. No, our best character cannot be dead. <laughs> All of a sudden, you feel your arms and muscles stay still as you are paralyzed. Oh, oh shit. No. Let's see. We'll, we'll use this one. You are now paralyzed for one minute. Fuck! 
All right. That's no bueno. Next up is the uh, Hellhound's turn, and he's going to take a swipe at Gaston. Yes. All right, so he's a Tiak. Does a 19 hit you? Yes. Awesome. You take uh, four points of piercing damage, and then you take an additional five points of fire damage. All right. All right. So he just crumps at you. You see, you feel your flesh uh, on your arm just burn. From the from the biter Zack. Ah! <laughs> Nita, <laughs> it's your turn. Am I able to save Martha from the vision of this evil beast? Are you strong enough? <laughs> By, you know, am I strong enough Martha. to be able to pull her towards where? Um, to cover. So probably like right behind, behind here or stands. Like where? Yeah, either there or like there. Okay, go ahead and roll. Um, so first we'll say that you just use five feet of movement to get down. And then go ahead and roll your strength check, athletics, to see if you can pull her. Strength or athletics? Athletics. There's a difference. <laughs> There's no difference, actually. Alright, 22. Yes, you're able to move her this turn, moving oh, only God. 15 feet. So you oh, and Martha God. can move only 15 feet right now. So three squares. Three squares. Uh, so three squares towards anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna move. Fucking Nita getting all the good rolls. <laughs> there. Alright, so you move have her with her. Like right in front of her. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Bless you, child! Gaston! Yes! <laughs> Uh, all right. So after getting my arm almost nearly chopped off, um, <laughs> I'm reconsidering my attack plan. <laughs> and I was wondering. Uh, so the thing only has two eyes, right? Which one? The hellhound. Hellhound, yes, only two eyes. Okay. So as a bonus action, can I like kick dirt in its face? Uh, yeah, pocket sand. Sure. <laughs> just a ranged... <laughs> just a ranged uh, attack. So just slash roll 1d20 plus your dexterity modifier. How in character of you, Guts? <laughs> I fight dirty. So, uh, fuck, because I... Uh, here, I'll just open up my character sheet. Fuck it. Uh, pull that up. Dex modifier is three. Mm -hmm. yeah. Says the roll d20 plus three. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Misses. Okay. It covers. It like closes kick it up. It just. Ca it's kind of just like the fuck, bro. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh. So that's just a bonus action, right? Mm hmm I want to dash. Okay. And so dash it. I double my move speed. Yes, right? you do. So. So where are you gonna move? What I'm gonna do this, down this alley. Yeah, I'm trying okay. to kind of like get it to come at me, you know, like chase me down a little mm -hmm. bit. I'm kind of like fat bitch, and okay. I'm all like one. All right, two, wait, right there. Three. Wait, right, right here. As he goes in for using a reaction and attack of opportunity on you. Can you do that when the guy dashes? Like disengage. Yeah, of course. No, disengage and dash are two different things. Okay. Disengage uh, prevents attacks of opportunity, while dash allows you to m double your movement speed. I'm they just each are in action. I'm going to disengage. Okay, disengage. Okay. Just with normal move speed. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. By the way, how narrow is this alleyway? It's five feet. But can, can the thing move through it? Yeah, you don't know. Okay. Well, from how Why wide not? it is, from what I can it's see. Fi it's five feet wide. You're gonna find okay. out. It's like ten feet. <laughs> it's like ten feet long. You'll you'll find out. What is the length of these individual squares? Five feet. Five feet. Okay. Yeah, and the grid doesn't quite match up with the background, but just pretend. All right, Martha, I need you to make a Constitution saving throw to resist the par paralyzation. D. D. Oh, no, no, you are still you are still paralyzed right now. 
<laughs> you just see. It's the arthritis. Yeah. You're double paralyzed. <laughs> uh, and your the arthritis is really bad today. And Ark, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, I am going to run right up next to Nita and Martha. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to hit Martha with Guidance. Okay. Which, which does what? Uh, Go ahead and roll your spell attack. All right. So you can add a d4 to uh, one ability check, which it, the ability check is different from saving throw. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Bless, I, mm. a bless, I believe, is the one that you're looking for. Um, bless. Guidance would be like, I ah, want to look okay. at this rock. And then you're like, he can go champ. This is how you squat. And then... Yep. And you can cast Bless <clears throat> instead. All right. Then, yeah, I'm going to cast Bless. All right. So it's going to uh, add a D4 to your uh, saving Next. throw. So, Shimmy, on your character sheet there, mm -hmm. if you go to Core Stats, mm -hmm. and then down below, it'll say Saves and Checks. Where it says saving throws on the left hand side, just put in one d4. And it's going to add that to your next saving throw for you automatically. Okay. Okay, I did it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Alright. Alright, and then before my turn ends, I'm going to try and get all their attention and say, let's go, run! And like beckon them back with me along the, the docks there. Okay. Um, will I be able to make any more movement this turn? Uh, you move five, ten feet, so you can move an additional twenty feet. So another four squares. Yep. All right, and I'm just gonna start booking it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> okay, here you go, champ. You're blessed. All right, bye. <laughs> come on, come on, you young people. All right, Celia. All right, I'm just gonna dash. So Celia oh. just sees big guy Gaston just be like, eh, nope, and just run down the alleyway. <laughs> yep. And Enoch's doing the same thing. Yep. And the big eyeball thing getting closer, I'm like, nope, okay. One, two, uh, 12 squares? 12 squares yeah. if you're going to dash. Yeah. You can go yeah. diagonally, by the way. Curtis. Diagonal is counts as one. Yeah. So, so one, one two, two, yep. Three. And then I'm going to roll to get to jump over in... Nope. I mean, um, he can just I'm, like I'm let a, you pass I'll, by. It's... No, no, I'm gonna jump over. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm, gonna flip. Oh. I'm gonna flip. He's gonna die. Acrobatics. Yep. He's gonna push He's gonna into the fire. He's gonna crash into the burning Come ship. Come on. I'm gonna Come fire on. and then I'm gonna miss. Come on. <laughs> no, you straight up just hit him in the back. <laughs> Minus five feet of movement. <clears throat> so, Enoch is so. just like the fuck. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. That's right. You dumbass! Oh, you were supposed to be nimble. <laughs> we're all gonna die. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. All right. I tried. <laughs> okay. Wait, Celia, why don't you have? Oh, that's why. How much uh, max HP do you have? Ten. Okay. There we go. Oh. oh yeah. Sorry. Now you have a health bar. Everybody should have health bars. Players no, should. Yeah, I didn't. All right. Next up is the beholder. I love bars, especially mine. One, <laughs> two. Looks over to the your right here, and is gonna hover over, just smashing the entire thing, and he's gonna attempt to bite at you, Shimmy. Bite who, Martha? Bite Shimmy. She's a fucking rock. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, my child. Wait, I have a question. Answer. Yes. If she's a rock, like she gets petrified into a rock, does her AC go up? She's paralyzed, not petrified. <laughs> yes. First, I wasn't afraid. Get your keywords right. I was petrified. And gets an advantage. Uh, what's your armor class without your shield? Shimmy? What? Sorry, I wasn't. What? Sorry. Armor class without your shield. Armor class without my shield. Uh, it's. Uh, oh, is that AC? Yes, armor class, yes. In, in Under Armour, it says 16 worn armor. Oh, you don't have your shield in there. No, I don't have a shield. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, All right. So, luckily enough, it is <laughs> Here we a go. 14 to, to hit and bite. So as he goes into bite, he uh, hits the pole of the... Um, 
of the stall right there and just crushes it in its teeth. Splinters, as you're paralyzed, a whole bunch of splinters just hit your body from the explosion. Oof. Yes, yes. Alright. Next up is the Hellhound. Yeah, so he's going to start running after you, Gaston. <laughs> and just like no one flees like Gaston, <laughs> <laughs> makes it there easily Damn. and will roll an attack. Oh, of... Does an eleven hit you? No. Nope. And so as he's running, he just snaps at you <laughs> and just misses. Five. <laughs> Fires, then he misses. Then he reloads, Solid. then he fires, and he misses. Then he fires, and misses, then he passes out, and then has a popsicle, then he misses. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Nita, it's your turn. Now, I want to just dash, okay. but this crazy old lady who apparently only got my attention out of the whole damn group, I feel I'm so responsible for her that I have to keep dragging her, seeing as she's still freaking petrified, and this monster is trying to chew on her leg. Um... <laughs> I distracted one of them by myself, so your boyfriend who completely left you two alone. <laughs> Did you not see my panicked? Go, go, go! Yeah, so I'm, you trying, can to, help I'm her trying to take his advice by Nita, dashing, but this Nita, go horrible ahead and woman, roll I gotta drag a her. perception check. Let's <laughs> see if you can understand me. <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure flea is a universal thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it like, all right, never here. mind. Don't worry about it. Nothing, nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> no, you, you went blind. Is what happened. No, you're just in the chaos. You're just not. You're not. You're. You're. Your, your, your awareness of the world around you is just nothing right now. All right. But still, what do I do want to do? Wanna run away. And okay, then run away. Is there? Do whatever you would so feel you like. So you're... drag her with me, though. Oh uh, yeah, you can, but you'll do it for half. Okay, so six spaces. You'll only move six spaces with with Martha, okay. but I need you to make a, a uh, a, a athletics check to see if you can carry her. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> no, nope, you, you'll only be able to move. You won't be able to dash, so you'll only be able to move uh, three spaces dragging her. I'm so okay. sorry, child. You can move diagonally. Yes, okay, diagonals good. count as one. Oh, okay. So, so be able to one, move one, two, two three. three, and she'll be like right yeah. here behind you. Okay. <laughs> All right, Gaston. I'm trying. All right, I have a question. Is there a window like right next to me, like right here? Or something? Yes, but Does you see, see green mist slowly starting to creep in from the city. All right. Uh, so, like I said, is there a window to this building here? Uh, nope, it's a solid building right now. Shit. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to do math in my head here. Yes, math. Math, yes. Which house doesn't have windows? Come on, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hold on, let me just check some a couple of abilities real quick. The uh, dice of fate. The dice of fate. Did I feed you your... enough? How are you feeling? <laughs> You're so sweet. Once again, Nita, no response. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's gonna be. It's great. I'm just thinking, this crazy old woman. <laughs> I have no idea. Just speaking gibberish. <laughs> Okay. I wish I wish she had like cookies like like in her pocket. Like, just like pull out. Just keep handing me cookies. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just sitting here. Solid. Like... What are you doing? Just, uh, second wind as a bonus action. Okay, bonus action. Second wind. Go ahead and regain. I need to roll one d10 plus my fighter level, so one d10 plus one. Plus one. That's how many hit points you get back. Okay, All right. So you get six bad. hit points back. Wait. Uh, not as much as I wish it was, but that's cool. Hey, it's pretty uh, average. Five out of ten. Plus six. On my scale, dash. that's an average game. All right, I'm uh, and now I'm gonna. If I dash, okay. and the uh, thing gets an attack of opportunity, if it hits me, does it just stop my dash immediately? No, you'll still be able to dash. You'll just take the damage. I'm gonna dash. Okay, go for it. 
<laughs> so, attack of opportunity. Uh, what, does 13 hit you? No. Alright, awesome. Once again. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck you! <laughs> and so, I'm out! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm kind of peeking around the corner here, seeing what's going on you over see, here. You see Celia running towards you. You see, um... He cuts Celia off. Yeah. <laughs> So do I see Celia? Do I see anything behind her, like Enoch or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, you see everybody behind her. So I see Nita carrying the fucking petrified old lady on her back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Trying to hand me cookies while she's petrified. <laughs> no, let's roll Tossing a dice. Tossing cookies at the beholder. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a dice to see what Gaston feels like doing right now. Well, you can't do anything else. You're gonna use bonus action, no, no, no. movement, I'm and action. I'm just saying if it, like, like personality. Yeah. Like Martha, personality. what would you like to do? You already again. used your. You already did your bonus action. You used your action to dash, and you used your movement. Solid. Yeah. Well, no, because my movement is six, right? Your movement is six. You I moved, moved eleven. So you okay, can't do 11. anything else yet, right now. Okay. I was just rolling to see what decision my, my yeah. guy would. You can move more. two more spaces. <laughs> two more spaces. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. One, two. Okay. So you kind of move past Celia as she's running. I'm just like, God damn yeah, it! She tries to flip over him. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, go ahead and roll a uh, constitution saving throw. Natural 20. Praise me! <laughs> All of a sudden, breaking. With that plus 4. <laughs> just, just a 30. Um, oh, and you rolled a 4. Okay. That. That. Okay. Alright, so go ahead and on your saving throw, um, go ahead and remove the 1d4. Alright. And you are now no longer petrified. First, I was afraid. I was petrified, thinking how would you about would you like a cookie from <laughs> from Grandma, um, Granny Martha? From Granny Martha. <laughs> so now that she's fucking moving, I'm just yep. throwing her off my back like. Yeah, she she just <laughs> like Drop starts moving. Yeah, breaks the hip. And on. Sorry, it's the arthritis. And on, it is now your turn. All right, I'm gonna continue yelling behind me and then also in front of me mm -hmm. to run. Yeah. And I'm gonna take a moment to yell in Elvish, run or die. And then I'm gonna try dashing as well. Alright. And dashing, I believe I can move 12 tiles? Yes. 12 spaces. Okay. How the fuck did I roll a 30? How does that even happen? <laughs> All right. So you just move yeah, past there. As you do, you see two more of these creatures bound around the corner. Ugh. Just kind of crossing over their hands with high shoulder blades um, and like a really crooked back. Yeah, they have yeah crooked backs and uh, just a small stubby tail and just. <laughs> All right, is that the end of your turn? Do you want to do anything else? Uh, you have a bonus action. If any of your spells are... What can I do as a bonus action? Okay. Any of your spells are a bonus action? I don't, uh, I, I don't know either. I don't know. You uh, should know your spells, Spellcaster. It would be one bonus action. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> yeah. Instead of one... Yeah. <laughs> instead of one action as a cast time, it would be one bonus action? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then I cannot do anything, so... Okay. Celia, remember, have your uh, guys so, have your turns ready, okay? Celia, yeah. it's your turn. Uh, let's get this. Might also help if you guys change uh, your oh. names to your screen names, to your character's oh, name. Down the bottom. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, if you could, it'd be great. Let's see. I I see the beast. No. Uh, or oh, they hide it hidden. Right now, you don't see. You don't see. Yeah, it's just just behind the building. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So there's a big building in front of me. So we have to go all the way down to the left. No, right. Oh, I'm just gonna dash again. Okay, dashing for your life. Uh, dashing <laughs> through the port <laughs> with a beholder on your back. Excuse me. Running Don't flip over me. Fire. 
Oh my Seven. god, the fire! Oh, oh that beast. Why is there so much fire? <laughs> what is going Seven. on? Eleven, I really don't 12. understand. Twelve. I think my leg caught fire too. <laughs> please help me, yeah. please, Gaston. Oh! <laughs> oh, Apocalypse We're Day, so Apocalypse Day. Armageddon's here. I am hanging off a limb right now, and I'm just like, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next up is the Beholder's turn. So, it floats over here, crushing all in its path, and then sees some delicious morsels defending themselves Cookies. against the orcs and ogres, and just goes in a whole bunch of rays. You see, like, a multicolor rays just hit this entire phalanx that's, fa that's um, defending against the orcs, and just just knobs on them. All of them Fuck just it. fall dead. Just, you see some just cut in half. You see some cut into quarters. And you see some just petrified there, standing still. It's just like fucking beams of light and it's like a rave going on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beholder rave light. going on, yes. <laughs> a single tear falls down Martha's cheek as she remembers her lovely grandchildren. Yep. That aren't really her grandchildren, that just regular. Really Darude Sandstorm plays in the distance. <laughs> They're just Diddle her barmaids. <laughs> yep. All right. Next up is the uh, how, Hellhounds turns. One, two, three, this four. Five, six, seven, Wait, eight, nine, all the Hellhounds, or just that one? This one for right now. No. Gaston, okay. you see, you see the Hellhound that you saw earlier. Now is peeking around the corner. Hey! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, friend. Hey, hey, fuck. Nita, <laughs> it is your turn. Martha, now you see, is lady. now stirring. Yeah, now that she's moving, I'm saying, fuck you, and I'm just going dash. Oh, okay. I love you too, honey! One, two, three. Oh, she grew up to be so fast. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, if I were to stop at eight, mm -hmm. would I be able to help attack the hellhound? Uh, what are you going to attack it with? Well, actually, wait, you can't move more than six. So if you're gonna move oh, okay. more than six, so you have to take dash. the dash action. Yeah. You can't attack. Yeah. Yeah, you can't attack. Nine, ten, All right. As 11, as you pass by the hellhound, it goes in first claw attack against you. Or no, it's um bite attack. Excuse me. Uh, it roll uh, twenty two to hit. <laughs> <laughs> I get your armor. <laughs> What's your armor? Class, well, Nita. Well then. Click on your character, it's the center circle. Uh, 14. Alright, so it hits you and does uh, an additional... Uh... She did. Uh, it does... <laughs> six? No. It's four... Six points of damage to you. Four from piercing and two from fire damage. As you, it gets the back of your um, shoulder there. Back of your shoulder. There you go. They really like yeah. the arms. They they go after arms, man. Well, they they are five feet tall. Like they're as tall as you guys right now. Most of you. All right. So in your, if you click on the red circle, and then uh, red circle. So click like on your character. And then there's a red circle there. And then just uh, put in minus... You're clicking, nothing's oh. happening. There we go. Got it. Yeah, just minus... Minus six. Minus six, and then it'll update your total. There you go. So you have five health right now. Gaston! Gaston. So I just saw that whole ordeal go down where she yes. just gets chopped, and I'm just like, mm, I don't know about this. And, like, I kind of see, like, these two things peeking around the corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm like, mm, I don't like any of this. Okay, so let me do some math real quick. Some swick math. What are you doing? Come on. I'm Drop thinking job. about... Yeah, I know. Uh, There's always the option of the harbor. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to dash. Okay. Again. And I'm going to go one, two... Right, stop right there. Yeah. Uh, Eleven does not hit you. So still with a whole Three. bunch of flesh still in its mouth from Nita, it tries to bite at you again. Oh. Jeez. Thanks. Uh, I just want to say, like, as a bonus action, 
or not a well, just kind of want to yell. Okay. I don't know if that's a, what are you gonna yell. I just want to yell this way. Okay. And then I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna yell it in common and in Elvish because I speak Elvish, by the way. Okay. Because I guessed as much. So that's your uh, bonus so action three. to right. yell those two things. Three. Uh. Four. Five. Six, and can I step onto this boat? Uh, the boat is currently on fire. <laughs> Completely or just Completely on fire. Never mind. That's uh, why no one's heading to any of those. Three, so five, Gaston, six. go ahead and make a perception roll. <laughs> <laughs> does fire burn? <laughs> it doesn't realize that it's on fire. Uh, what was my character it? again? The fire burns? It was Finn. Fi yeah, right. fire burns. <laughs> perception. Guys, the fire's hot. <laughs> perception. Boop. Yep. Awesome. No one feels fire like Gaston. As you look up and see the fire right in front of you, you're like, oh, this ship, okay. And then you look over to the left. Over to the right. Back to the left. All of a sudden you see, coming out of the clouds is a dive-bombing two-headed dragon about to make another pass. Pain. Right. Harbor. Uh, I'm gonna keep using my movement. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna dive in that water. Okay. So, in the mesh, I was taking a bath. bath what is bath, your bath, constitution bath. modifier? The constitution modifier is plus three. Okay. So, you can stay underwater for three minutes, which is okay. uh, three... It, no, it's 30 rounds. Well, Okay. That's how long you can stay underwater. 30, like... Turns. turns. 30 turns, wow. yeah. yeah. I, I could fucking... I got lungs of them fucking... <laughs> Eel, or not eel, fuck a penguin. I'm Martha, a penguin! it is your turn. Martha's turn. Martha's going to fucking book it like a cheap coward. <laughs> We'd like to dash. Go One, for it. two, three, four. I like how five, Martha's all the way back six, up there. Seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, stay right there. It gets a swipe, a bite at you. Oh, wait, no, it already used its reaction this turn. Yeah. Yep. Praise me. Mm hmm. <laughs> Where are you running to? I love running. You see gas. You see a, a giant of a man just dive into the water. Ksh! Make a perception roll, Martha. Do you have your glasses on? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Course, so you can make always. a perception roll. If she didn't. Well. All right. Oh. You also see to the south a giant dragon making its hey twenty twenty uh, making its way for a dive bomb. She's got 20 harbor. 20 vision with their glasses on. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> you'll see. You'll notice in the roll. It is very clear. Oh, that is that is not good. Even oh, your CRT lenses. It's, it's I'm going to move this right here just to let you guys know. Ah. Uh. That is not one of my regulars. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You know. She went from fucking up here. Yeah. Like way up he here. To okay. Enoch, you know, it is your turn. Uh, noticing, uh, with my great intelligence and everything, the two hellhounds <laughs> coming at me, mm. um... And me I'm, yelling, get over here. <laughs> I'm going to immediately spin on my heel, turn this way. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a step toward Nita while saying in Elvish, um, trust me, follow me. I'm gonna grab her hand and then run to the, run into the, and dive into the harbor. Nita, Young do love. You, Nita, do you, uh, allow him to grab your hand? Yes. Okay. Oh! Oh, look at that! Young love, so beautiful. Martha gonna die. Oh, uh, I, mean, I imagine Nita would be like Ray and be like, "Why are you holding my hand?" I, I well, she's completely confused, but yeah. seeing the situation, I don't think she really gives a crap. All right. Go for it. So, Martha grab your hand. Both die. of you jump into the water. Can I swim any at this point? Uh, how many squares did you move? Um, so I technically moved like one to grab her, two, and then three into the harbor. Okay, so you can move an additional one more. One more square. Hey, Gaston. <laughs> You're all swimming underneath the water right now. No, Celia. No swims like Gaston. Pool party. Well, since it's gonna make us do like, I see the dragon make a list of all the uh, that... You hear it at this point. Okay, I hear you hear it. the whistle right. of its wings as it's making its way dive bombing from 20,000 feet down to 100 feet, 50 right. feet. At that point, I'm just, oh, fuck. I'm going to just fucking run towards the dog ahead of me. Okay. 
Cool. So, as soon as you get here, I need you to make an acrobatics roll to get across the board. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Natural 20, nice. So, uh, can I can I uh, do a D4 to yes. see how many D4 flip? for flips. What is this thing come over on, here? Come on, come on, come on. Uh that's uh, don't worry about it. It was just in the tile set. <laughs> that's a so, dead dog. So you do like, three don't worry flips. About it. You do three flips across the board effectively <laughs> allowing you another five, um 10 feet of movement. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> that two squares. Yep, so you get across the thing without even without even costing you any movement. Without even trying. So you have Where one, that you have one more square. You have one more okay. square of movement. Yeah, yep. So you get there. Alright. Next up is the beholder. It's chomping away. Nom 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 nom. And it starts turning back. <laughs> it's ba far behind us. Nom, 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 it starts nom, turning nom, back nom, around nom, 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 uh, nom, nom, and advancing nom. along with the horde of other baddies and ogre and goblins. All over now. Making its way in the sound town. That's not gonna die. Yeah. All right. Next up is the hellhound. Oh, never mind. The dragon didn't move yet. You're good, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you might not be so good. So <laughs> the hellhound comes up, swipes at, or goes in for a bite. Uh, a ten does not hit you. <laughs> Man, the hellhound's rolling terribly. I wanted to kill somebody. Come ah, on. Hey! <laughs> 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 No, he got a good arm. chunk out of me. Yeah, he got the chunk out of me and Angie. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is the dragon. As it flies over, releasing a torrent flame, Martha. Uh, Rip. yeah, just Martha. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. See if you can dive under the water. Nope. Unfortunately, you are lit a flame. Burn, baby, burn. Those spaces. Uh, that was 4d6 worth of fire damage, by the way. Um, uh, she's dead. She might die. Rip. He's bad. He's bad. He's very bad. Uh, so you take uh, 11 points of fire damage as you were this lit a flame. 11 points of fire damage. Nice. Yep. Wow. It's just fine. On fire. <laughs> this is fine. This just is fine. On fire. Uh, I'll use this one. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I just, ah! Gaston. All right. So in water, you can swim up to half your movement speed. But if you dash in the water, you can swim up to six squares. So, uh, Martha's on fire. Oh, you don't see this. You're all underneath the water right now, as the fire just kind of left over you in the water. That's why I saw fuck all. And the fire, like, the, everything above me is on fire, basically. This is why they call me Hot Grandma! Uh... <laughs> okay, uh... I guess I'm gonna dash. Okay. I'm, like, between these boats here. And I can move to six, right? Up yep, to six. move six squares, yep. So it's full-on Pearl Harbor style, as you see ships are just starting to capsize because of taking out in too much water. This is like Pirates of the Caribbean, like the first scene. Yep. Black Pearl's blowing shit up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, Martha, it is your turn. Martha's going to book it yet again because he's a filthy coward. <laughs> uh, Do you want to use second win? One, one, two? Right. She's dashing, by the way. Wait, Can hold on. Three? You should. The, the uh -oh. Hellhound gets a swipe at you. Gonna need uh, more of this. That hits you. She's that's dead. A, that's an 18. She's dead. I'm disengaged. I don't know what that means. I didn't know that was a thing I could do. Attack. Oh, I didn't no, know that. I thought I was just fleeing. You can do that. You can disengage if you want. Disengage and flee, okay, yes. So, so you won't be able to dash. You'll only be able to move six squares. That's fine, but I'm disengaging because I don't okay, want to take disengage. any damage. Disengage. So you take one, Mercy. two. So you're two squares right there. Alright. Oh, Lord. Uh, can she jump into the water with these burn wounds without getting of course. infected? <laughs> uh, water into the water. That. Salt water's gonna be great for you. As you jump in the water, you kind of land next to Enoch and Nita. You, yes, so uh, they both had a bond, like in the hands, and all of a sudden you jump in and you break their hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hair! Yeah, I'm just, breaking their I'm hands. But here, like, oh god, it's this woman they're, again. They're, you know, the, the clasp of their hands is broken by Martha's 
butt splash. <laughs> I just imagine... Sorry, I was a little on fire. It was kind of painful. Yeah, and you were no longer on fire. I just okay. imagine Martha, Nita, and Gaston, when they dive in, they're like, FUCK! Because of the salt water. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, they're just pure salt. rubbing alcohol. Can I move more 5-6? Uh, you can move me? half your movement speed, so you'll only be able to move one more square. Okay, move this way then. Alright. Enoch. You're in water, it's really hard to like, you're having to push your way to keep yourself above, um, in the water before sinking because you're wearing all this armor. Uh, I'm... <laughs> Martha's even fine, if she has the 18 strength, she's, she's, she's just swimming 16. away. So I'm just kind of walking, I'm just kind of walking on the bottom like no one's business. <laughs> I was gonna say, even if I sink to the bottom, I don't care, I'm just going. Okay. In fact, um, you based the breathing under water off of Constitution, Constitution modifier. Uh, I have a constitution modifier of two, so that means two minutes for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not going to worry right now about whether I'm floating or sinking. I'm just going to kind of, like, go. Okay. And I'm going to try and dash like Gaston. <laughs> like Gaston. <laughs> and, dash uh, like Gaston. <laughs> and no follow him under the boats. Okay. So moving speed in water is half. Does that Half, right? so you get six squares. Because you dash. Hello. <laughs> All right, Celia. I swim 30 miles every day. <laughs> oh, that's me, sorry. Yep, it is your turn. So you make your way, uh, give me another acrobatics roll to get across this board. Yep. That Come is on. a 16, yes, you do make it across. Woo. Don't mind the flips this time. All right, I'm, I'm next right. board. Go ahead and roll me another acrobatics roll. Uh, oh, yeah, huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, 13. Yep, you make it across that one. So that's pretty much the only... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, yeah, you're fine. So you make it across that board. You see the ship is all prepared to go. People are trying to shove the boards off while the crewmates are trying to keep the boards uh, on. You see a um, enchantress, some kind of magical um, person summoning air elementals up against the sails, getting ready to, to push them. And you see the captain on uh, on the top of the deck here, saying, Get on the ship! Come on! Come on! Get to the ship! No, it's not Arnold. Get, get to the ship, come on! Come on. I'm so, that's what I heard, but yeah. <laughs> it was not Arnold. It's come on, good uh, no, Alright, the... Uh, Beholder okay. will move forward <laughs> along with all the baddies. They are rapidly approaching behind the you. The dragon is flying backwards. <laughs> yeah. Just like Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> just like Skyrim. Yep. They're making He's just call like, them. <laughs> right. Fucking physics move. The hellhound will make its way to the edge of the pier like scraping off a whole bunch of stones and tile work into the water just growling at you now that you're in the water Nita it is your turn um I am going to if I were to dash half on water and half on land how many squares would that be so what are you going to do I want to move two squares this way and then get back on land so that way I'm away from these okay, guys and, and that athletics. way I can move faster. Athletics. Okay. So that way I get to, to get up ship onto faster. the the pier. Mhm. Mm Natural 20 once again. He like Sora just <laughs> grabs onto the edge, lifts up. Nita is just Awesome at athletics. You get up onto the pier. So now you can dash. So you moved three squares in water, which would be your normal movement. Then you can dash for another um, six feet of move or six squares of movement. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So you make it there. Gaston. I'm gonna dash in the water again. All right. Two, uh, one, two, three. Four, five, and a six. Martha. Shim, shim. Oh, sorry. What I? <laughs> what are you doing, Martha? Wake up. What are you doing? Sorry, it's the uh, Alzheimer's. All right, let's go. We're dashing now. One, right. two, three. Four, I remember that. Five, six. 
Okay. Just moving along. All right. We'll say for the sake of speeding things up, uh, you guys eventually make it to the ship. With <laughs> because there's no like enemies. Because there's no the enemies way. for right now. Yeah, the only you know, enemy are these crippling burn wounds and infe an infection. From <laughs> you're all at the the, water. the edge of the pier right here. Um, the captain is begging you, get on, get on the ship, save yourselves. And as you, why didn't you call the ship the chopper? <laughs> <laughs> the last chopper. <laughs> you you call it the chopper. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, geez. I like the last chopper for some reason. All right, cool. So as you make your way, as you look at uh, upon the ship, it is a Cavalier class ship, three masts. Um, it has two cannons off of um, facing port side right now. It has on top of it a repeating heavy crossbow in the middle deck, and a catapult on the top deck right here. A whole bunch of people are crowded on the top deck. Um, we'll go ahead and go into like what levels uh, of the ship are um, a little bit later. So. Let's say you each make your way onto the ship. It's a bustle of activity. Human, man, dwarf, elf, just a whole bunch of different type of races, different type of people. As they don't see anybody else coming on except the, the ogres and the beholders and the hellhounds, they kick off the boards into the water with a splash. Yes, I'll remove the underwater effect. I think could do that themselves. Yeah, if you want to, go ahead and remove it. As you do, um, you see the captain say, you know, barking out orders, and sorry, I'm getting some hiccups. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Um, disappointed. <laughs> dis disappointed. And as you do, you make your way um, away from the port, the harbor of Costa del Sol, and this is the site that is beholden upon you. As you see, the coast Martha is crying. <laughs> is on fire. The whole entire city on fire. Um, you hear the screams of people in the background getting eaten alive or something unimaginable. And you realize that this is probably the last time that you'll ever see the land of Alora. And as you come upon the realization of that, you hear in your minds, um, uh, a voice echo out saying, Alora is lost. <laughs> ah, I can't. Put the pop filter back on. Try that. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. What happened? Yeah. It was just like fuck, fucked up. It was, yeah, just it was right. <laughs> a Allura. demon robot. <laughs> a demon robot. Alora is lost. Never come back. And with that, you realize. You're that's... all right. And never come back. <laughs> you see a out from the mist, um, a dragon even larger than the one that you saw. Two hundred feet in wingspan, at least. Something that you can barely even fathom. So take, you know, take the Empire State Building, turn it on its side, and that's the wingspan. Or no, that's that's wrong. But it's really big. We'll just say that. <laughs> and it just lay. It's it just really big. Yep. As you have like four or five different other ships passing you, um, uh, you know, coming out of this harbor, it takes up two of them in its claw in its talons, picks them up, just like toy boats out of a bathtub and just crushes them in its hands, spl uh, laying splinters and fire and bodies all over the deck of the ship as you make your way out of the harbor of Costa del Sol. Martha is crying, like full stop crying. I worked my life for that bot. That was my tavern. Everything's <laughs> And with that, We'll is go she ahead. like softly crying, or is she just like? Oh no, she's she's like full on ugly bawling. <laughs> the, ugly imagine bawling. the ugliest cry you can think of, and that's what she's doing. Yeah. In attempts to calm her, I'm gonna walk over and place my hand on her back, and at the same time cast cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> she's seeing it. She's the one that's almost dead. Right. I was. In many, in more ways than one. Do you have time for a quick break? Of course. Yeah, we'll take a quick break here, and we will. Continue our adventure in the land of Alora. Be right back. Yeah. <laughs>